Hey everybody, welcome to Coffee and Conversation. It is Angela. Come on, y'all. What we finna do? Mm-hmm. Let's go. This is nasty. What the hell is wrong with this coffee? I ain't gonna be able to drink this. Taking the day I am taking the day. 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 All right, y'all. I had to put that coffee down. That coffee wasn't good today. I could I couldn't do it. I had I had to let it go. I couldn't. I couldn't work with that coffee today, so I'm not, you know, I just, I had to put the coffee down. It is what it is. And here I go with these shifty eyes. I don't, I don't quite know where to look in this camera. So y'all just, this is my iPhone and I got it sideways. So the camera, you know, just don't look at my eyes. Look at my lips. Right. All right. So, hey family, how y'all feeling? Y'all had a good week. Y'all feel all right? But that's just good, my sweet things. And as you can see, I'm properly attired. It is virtual homecoming week for Savannah State. We are doing virtual homecomings this year in the COVID-19 world. So I just want to, I'm ready to go to my event. We got a little uh, online event today. So I'm dressed to be, you know, I'm dressed for my, for my alma mater. That is where I got my undergraduate degree from, Savannah State University. I'm super proud and happy of them. Outside of that, welcome if this is your first time here i hope that you enjoy what you hear from me today and that it blesses and ministers to your soul family hey 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 i might have already said hey to you I'm talking so much today i'm awfully chatty chatty kathy hopefully that means i won't be too long for you so here we go jumping right into the story uh, about two three weeks ago a co-worker I, I was invited to a meeting I had a, a, a meeting and I get to this meeting and an old co-worker that I used to work with was on the call and she's now a director and a true director so at United the way they do uh, the director title is when you're a director you are you are a VP so um, you're an external VP but you're an internal director which is how they do it over there at my job so she had um, made the VP level and I'm like how the heck did you do that like how did you how, you're the only one from our team that has managed to you know make VP what did you do and and she reached out to me and I asked her you know I don't mind asking for help help me I'm trying to get there what you do you know you, you know tell me what you did I do it too so she said you know Angela when I left the company uh, when I left the team she said, I'm going to show you something. At the, the very next role I got, I was sent to the Leadership Academy. And I was sitting with these, you know, big time, super successful, you know, millionaire CEOs. And I asked them what was the secret to success and getting ahead. And one of the things they said was, don't get stale. Keep growing. Keep moving. Every two years, you should have a new job. I said, huh? Because I wasn't raised like that. You know, I'm not trying to be funny. You know, we, you know, I was raised with you. You know, you get that good government job. You know, longevity is the name of the game. You work somewhere for 50 years, and then you get the Rolex watch at the end of 50 years. So you hear the move every two years? That sounds so foreign i was I, I was taught in my business that if you move jobs every two years you look unstable you know and and to hear that the secret is in moving i didn't know that if one of y'all knew that let me know put put that in the comment section if you knew that say i knew that in the comment section if you didn't know that say i didn't know that in the comment section because i'm telling i'm telling y'all the secret she told me and then she said, she was kind enough, she said, and I, I'm gonna do something for you right, right quick. And I said, what, what you gonna do? She said, I'm gonna show you my resume. And so she pulls up her, she said, really quickly. I said, okay, I, I got it, cause she didn't want me to get all her secrets. And you know, I would've showed, I'd been dead quick too. She pulled her resume up and she showed me how 
First of all, she said, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. And the job that we had together, I've worked for my company for 10 years. The job that we had together was the last job on page two. She only had like five things under the description of the role. Maybe that if five, I would be maybe if five. She only had a few things. And she said, see, here's where you and I work together. Right here, this little bitty thing down here at the bottom. She said, now, Angela, if you and I are applying for the same job, who do you think is going to get it? Look at all of the experience I have amassed in moves. And these moves, y'all, were lateral moves. They weren't like... We think move and growth, we're thinking promotion. I'm going to be promoted. I'm going to take a step up. That's what I've been trying to do, take the step. And what she showed me in her resume was that she took a job over here, and she took a job over there, and it's same level kind of job. But what it did was it built on her experience, and I could see in her resume and she said, if I put your 10 years against my 10 years, who has the most experience? Who's the most valuable employee? Who can command the highest ask? So if you're asking for a great big old salary and you've only had the two roles in your 10 years, I'm gonna be not inclined to give it to you as I would to someone that has all the experience that I have that I bring to the table. My experience is going to command the money that I want to make. My experience is going to command uh, the, the type of interview and jobs that I want to interview for. My experience is going to bring me that. Now, how does your 10 years worth of experience stack up to that? And her showing me her resume, it was like a gut punch. But it helped me to understand and, and, and really see on paper the value in continuing to grow. The value in not just perceiving or thinking that growth is upward mobility. You know, we think the only way you can grow is up. But all of it adds together. And even as I think about her resume in my mind now, if we're interviewing and we're talking about the different things that we've done over, over our 10 year space, she is able to say, oh, I know a little bit about this area and I have relationship over here with these individuals. Oh, I know a little bit about this. And she's able to build, she's able to do this and that. And I know this and I've, I've worked in this area. Oh, I've worked over here and I have relationship with this team. And I bring this to the table. Don't stop growing. Don't think that growth is only upward mobility. Growth is growth happens in a lot of ways. Be comfortable with today. I just took a, a side move. You know, I took a job. It was a lateral, but I got more experience. Oh, I took a job over here and it was a lateral, but I got more experience. And then when you apply to the job that's up, the upward job, then you are able to say, OK, I bring with me this. I bring with me that I bring with me this. And so therefore, I am valuable. You should pay me at this. And I could see it. I could totally see it. So now here's the question. How do you get unstuck? Whatever your situation is, mine, I'm giving for an example, and I might do a couple of these. <laughs> I might do a couple of ones on job stuff. But um, my answer is to start looking for the next step. What is my next job? And, and, and not looking for it to come necessarily, for it to necessarily be the step up but it to be the opportunity that allows me to grow. Does that make sense? I hope that that makes sense. You know, I was having a conversation um, with a family member and I shared this story with that family member and they were like, you know, Angela, I never looked at it that way. You know, they, they've been 
they've been in one area of their career and they're like, this is what I do, but I'm ready to do, to, to do more in my career. But I'm not interested in those other things. And I was like, well, do you realize the person that's interested in doing this and this and this and this and this and that, and that they're 20 years in the same industry, that person can build an entire house? Do you realize they can do that? So sometimes we have to, you know, if you were, I'm looking at my husband's car, so I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pit car. If you are a mechanic and you do brakes and you do 20 years doing brakes, somebody else did brakes one year and then they did the engine another year and did, then they did the electronics on the car the next year and then one year they did the AC unit and then they went and worked at the, at the auto plant to build a car and y'all go interview for the same job. He's sitting there at the interview saying, I could build a car. And you saying, I do brakes. Like, seriously, that's how I felt. I felt like I was saying, I do brakes and, <laughs> and I do electrical work. And that woman said, oh, I build cars. I could build a car. Don't stop growing. Don't stop growing. Don't stop growing and, and stop looking at growth in one way. I was guilty of in this situation and I'm being very broad because I want you all to, to pull from it what you need. I want you to look at your life and, and pull from it what you need from your life that will help you. I don't, I don't want to be so closed in my example that you can't take from it what you need. No matter what it is, and I don't forget what I was I was telling you now, child. I had a whole point and it's going now. Um, I just want you all to, to really stop and, and don't look at growth in one particular way. The growth has to be up or the next promotion. Anytime you have an opportunity to learn, it's a skill that you learn it's, it's, and it's a marketable skill. It makes you more valuable. You grew. It helped you. It was a benefit to you and where you want to go in your career or where you want to go in your life. So despise not the small steps. What is your next step? Doesn't necessarily have to be up, but it does have to add to add value to your story. And here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. See, I thought I was done. Sometimes we're not interested in things. We'll think, oh, you know, I'm not interested in learning that. Or, oh, I'm not interested in, did it help you? You might not be interested in it. It might not be something that you're drawn to doing right away, but it might be the very thing that somebody, they might be looking for someone in a particular role that has knowledge of this. Not even that you have to do it. But do you have knowledge of X, Y, and Z? And that makes you a better candidate. So go and get your knowledge. You don't want the reason you don't get the job that you want, or you don't get the opportunity that you want, or you don't, you don't get the chances. Ooh, the mosquito just gonna fly right on my hand. You just gonna bite me like that? Now, I mean, you just, who, who does that? That's so rude. Just go take my blood without you just, just on my camera hand. The hand I'm holding the camera with. That just stop and bust him out real good. All right. I was ministering and it's, it's you, you, you got what I'm saying. Um, if you, whatever it is that you guys are doing, whatever it is, it might be that very thing that the person is looking for and you won't have to do the job, but you need to understand the job in order to be able to manage what it is they want you to do. Go and do it. You ain't got to stay there. It ain't but for a year or two. And in the end, it will help you. All right, everybody. That's all I have for you today. I'm going to go find me a coil. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 do some mosquito treatment since they out here uh gang busting up out here today act a fool on these somebody pulled up in the truck look like mine all right y'all y'all have a fantastic day and a fantastic week that's all i have for you on coffee and conversation with angela Mwah. be blessed taking the day i am taking the day Taking the day I am, taking the day.